Hey guys, welcome back. I am here at Prif. Uh, this is immediately after the other video has ended. And it's this guy here that I want. Lord Amlod. Now, I've already exchanged some. But what you do is you just click on him. Click swap. And you can swap all your scrolls back to uh, crystals. But you've got to do them in bunches of ten. So those won't work. Then you can do all your pouches as well. And it's got a full display here of all the pouches and how much he offers for each of them so i'm going to swap all the things that i don't think i want anymore so all of these they can all go and we got 417,000 shards wow not bad not bad it's better than a kicking teeth i mean what's that in in currency that's a fair few million for 417,000 shards so very impressed at that and this is the bank here i believe that's closest to it i don't think there's any others so how much does that put me at Seven hundred thirty-two thousand. wow that's pretty cool now can i disassemble these no bin them there we go easier right so because of that my summoning tab it is a lot cleaner a lot a lot cleaner uh so a lot of these things now i'm probably not going to need like this hair and the green salamanders i don't need those anymore because i'm not going to be summoning any of them then tortoise shells i'm not sure and then stripy feathers and a fish fish bowl i think that's just a pet that isn't it i'm not sure what stripy feathers do i forget but wolf bones Rabbit, maybe I'll do wolf patingas again if I need them for Hunter, but I can't really see that. Dag hide, I don't know if I need that for anything else. And the rat meat, I might just put that one into farming and then feed spiders or something with it, maybe. That would probably be a better use of that. And speaking of farming, I did a, uh, what was it, small, easy... One of the tasks for the NPCs that appear, and I got this Brassica Primer, which is quite interesting. It says, harness the power of the most delicious god. Consuming this provides a 10% experience boost when harvesting from farming patches for 15 minutes. So when I get a good sort of rotation for farming going, that could be very handy to get a nice bit of, re uh, bit of experience. But for now, it's just going to gather dust in there. <laughs> Because I'm not really in any rush for it. I want to I want to jump into summoning. I want to go and start summoning and see how, how far I can get to 99. But I know I've not got anywhere near enough charms to do that. So I'm going to be patient. I'm going to wait. I'm going to try and make a bit more money. Get a few more shards. Because I've got enough pouches. Because that's easy. They're one GP each. And blue charms, again, really, really lacking. And I'm not collecting those anymore. So there was a ones that i got before i got the charming imp so if i click number two here and then we go back in and have a look this is my setup for the water fiends and this is everything that i've managed to farm up from them so 1070 charms 38 blues because i'd used the entirety of it all before i started this grind and i haven't done any more summoning since then mithril spirit zones arrowheads Water orbs, 118 raw sharks though, which is pretty nice. And a big bunch of seaweed, so we could get some decent crafting experience out of that. And then a butt ton of snake grass. And I'm using the expensive spices so that I can get a little bit more out of my food. Because I'm wanting to get through most of this lower level food. You know the stuff from Menophos. I want to get through that and mainly concentrate on sharks when... I'm doing proper things, so obviously these raw sharks need cooking up when I'm done with this grind. And yeah, like I say, I've, I've used most of my sharks questing. So slowly getting there, slowly organising the bank and stuff. And yeah, I think that's about it. So I'm going to have to go back and grind again at the Water Fiends. And I'm going to stick with melee because I keep levelling up my axe and 
the body armor there. So when I get them to level 10, I just go into this one. No, this one. Here we are. And I've got some equipment siphons. I've got two more made in anticipation. And then I just siphon it off. But like you saw in the last episode, I did get... Uh, where are we? Is it Malcolm or something? Yeah, this guy. Malcolm. This cool pet. Which I think is fun. I wonder, can I override? Like so. Yeah, there we go. So now it's an Iron Titan. Sweet. Because he's not really going to get in the way. So I like that. Yeah. And I think he's funky looking. He's really cool looking. <laughs> anyway, on with the grind. Okay, yeah, the grind can wait. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm exploring. So I found the harps which is pretty cool. So that's going to be a nice bit of AFK crafting, which I can do probably mobile as well. And then you get this dust. And I think that's how you get the crystal equipment. So I might even be able to get like a crystal hatchet or a uh, crystal pickaxe. And then I need to have a look at how you get the Imkando ones as well. But yeah, that's going to be awesome. Just do this whilst chilling out. <laughs> Cooking food and just leave it do this or something. Sort it young and out. Yeah. Awesome. Easy crafting experience. Fantastic. Okay. Okay, I can't wait. I want to try it. I want to see how much more experience I get for doing this because the summoning thing is active. So I'm hoping it's decent. What's that? 13.4. Wow, that's pretty decent. <laughs> wow, uh, yeah, that should make a huge difference then, if it's gone up by that much. Sweet. Well, I'm going to do this for a little bit. I might as well work through them. There's no point collecting all the stuff from the Water Fiends. I mean, it's not as if they drop anything special. I don't really need to record exactly what I get for them. So I'm just going to spam out my summoning. Like so. <laughs> Yeah, so here it says 20% uh, summoning experience for making pouches or scrolls and you get extra scrolls when making them in that district. Oh wow, that's pretty cool. So if you've got something that's a little bit rare and you want scrolls for it, then you wait for this and you get two extra. That's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So I'm very happy at this. Very, very happy. And I think with this run, I'm going to hit... 97 summoning wow <laughs> it is mega mega quick doing this we it being so close and yeah boom 97 summoning two more to go can't wait and it's a new day yet again so it's time for jack of trades three lots of them hey we got wolves so great yeah <laughs> So, I have been told that doing Water Fiends is not such a good idea, supposedly. Now, again, I didn't want to rely on ED3 or anything like that, which I know is probably the smarter way of doing things, but this is all about doing stuff in a stupid way, and the most stupid way I could do it is probably Cockroach Soldiers, but spending a month there so far to get to this amount of summoning, I think is a little bit too much. So yeah, Water Fiends is like a blooming a holiday camp for me. So what I'm going to do is I am going to go back there and I'm going to use range and I'm going to train defense as well because that will ensure that I don't actually uh, 99 constitution before anything else and I think I should have plenty of experience in order to do that because I'm probably going to end up getting about 6 million total experience and that will be distributed between 3 stats so I should be alright in theory should hopefully if the math is right and if the drops are right and etc etc and then it's just smush them all out so that is me for as long as it's going to take to actually do it now yeah but at least i'm doing it ranged 
The only downside to that is that I won't be leveling up this Guthans Plate or the Sterox Axe. I'll only be leveling the Carol's Crossbow, which will mean that my invention will be a bit slower. So I might get this to 10 and leave that for now, then siphon that off and switch to um, switch to thingy, switch to range. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to get it done. And another 100 Vizwax. Can't complain at that. <laughs> and the grind begins. Yep. Get this melee stuff done. Get it all to 10. Um, I don't know whether or not I'm going to get this body to 10. Because the armor seems to take a little bit longer. Like I say, I don't know. But definitely get this to 10, siphon it up, see how we sit with invention, and then we'll start ranging here, which should be a lot faster. I hope. I hope. I just hope I don't 99 health. <laughs> right, okay, so the Ujar is. Uh, items, augmented items, that's the one. Yeah, words. Remember words, beef. <laughs> uh, this tab, that's the one. Two equipment siphons, and want to take you off and you off, then use you. Okay, and that's 59, so hopefully this one will get us to 60, and we should get an announcement, hopefully. Yay! There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Well, just been to the trader and got myself another livid plant. So let's see how many I get this time. Ooh, 33,240. That's not bad. A little bit closer to 250,000 anyway. <laughs> Better than the last one. What was that? 11,000 or something? So yeah, I'm glad I did that now. Ooh, well, I have unlocked some goodies, aren't I? A simple generator. And the auto disassembler, augmented items level 15, and a fishing accumulator, whatever the hell that thing is, I have no idea. I'm sure I'll find out, but yeah, funky donkey stuff. Right, I'll, uh, I'll research all these. Ah, right, over here, incomplete generator. What do I need to make one of these then? Uh, yes, right, I'll watch whatever... It is that they're going to tell me. All right, easy enough. All right, build one of these. There we go. Okay, so... Disassembler. Shall I put it here? Because I'm probably going to need to use it quite frequent. Um, oh, no. Huh. I think they are just in set locations. No? No, they're not. Okay, right. So I can go here. This is where I want it. And click that. Then build. There we go. Okay, so. Aha, right. Need to add charges. Oh, great. Right, well. Again, I'm halted by divination. <laughs> right, well, it's time for the second to last level. Yep. Right, here we go. Boom. There we go. 98 summoning. 98. Wow. <laughs> So that is that for this episode. Yes, we are all ready to do our 99 in. And the plan is to do that on Saturday. So if you'd like to come join me, you're more than welcome. You can come and watch the stream over on Twitch. It's uh, twitch.tv forward slash tsunami beef, I believe. I hope. I think I've got a, an actual name there that it'll direct my t uh, to my page or whatnot. Don't know. New to all this business, like I say. So this is actually going to be my first official stream over there. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> Breaking new ground there, definitely. Um, I'll be doing it at 11 o'clock GMT. And it will be on my home world of 139. So if you want to come in person or hop on Twitch... Whatever you'd like to do, you're more than welcome to do it. You can come and just, I don't know, 
stand in the way whilst I run backwards and forwards for a bit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Whatever you like to do. But yeah, we need to go through 1.2 million worth of experience. And I still need a little bit more time to get a few more Crimsons. So that is what I'll be doing until then. So again, if you've enjoyed this episode, please let me know down below, etc, etc. And I hope to see you all on Saturday. If not, then there'll be a recap video of that stream on Sunday, no doubt. So don't forget to take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in the next episode. And can I do a wave again? There we go. <laughs> take care. Bye.